What's up everybody? Today I'll be talking about the fastest EVM blockchain in the world that's also providing investors with a way to earn rewards. This is Telos. Imagine you're a blockchain developer and you come up with a great idea for a Web3 solution. You're ready to start building your dApp, but can't decide which blockchain network you want to build on. Some of you watching this may have actually experienced this kind of scenario. Each network offers a specific set of specifications and perks, and the challenge is to pick out a network that best suits your project design and goals. Telos is a layer one blockchain built to provide speed and scalability for its developers. This network has been active for over three years now without any downtime. The team currently has 95,000 followers on Twitter, 23,000 followers on Telegram, and 7,500 members on Discord. With impressive transaction processing speeds, quick block times, and very low energy consumption, Telos is a great candidate for developers looking to build their next smart contract. Not to mention the Telos network comes with an EVM compatible layer, which means Ethereum based developers can easily transition over to this chain. And their most recent highlight is their big partnership announcement with ApeSwap, and I'll talk about this more later on in detail. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of the Telos network and going over some of the key features of the blockchain. I'll discuss the recently announced Telos Fuel campaign and what they have in store for the future. I'll also give you my personal opinion on the network. Before we get down to business, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Summer and I'd like to welcome you to Fire Hustle, where it's my mission to tell you everything you need to know about crypto, passive income, and side hustles in the shortest amount of time possible. If you wanna help this video reach a wider audience, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can take advantage of all the work I've done. It really helps the channel and I would also really appreciate it. And remember, the crypto space comes with a high level of risk overall, and none of this is financial advice. My videos are meant as a tool for learning about passive income, side hustles, and investments. Now, let's talk about Telos. Telos is a layer one blockchain that's designed to be an efficient network for developers to work on. The Telos blockchain is built on top of Antelope, which is an open source software platform with a variety of tools for Web3 chain assembly. The Telos blockchain is powered by its own currency, the Telos coin, which is important for protocol governance and distribution of system resources through token staking. And what makes Telos unique is that it consists of a native layer powered by Antelope and an EVM layer powered by Ethereum. Now, when it comes to governance, the team created a Telos Decide governance engine, which supports voting on-chain with Telos coins. That way, all coin holders contribute to decisions in the Telos ecosystem, including protocol updates, proposals, elections, and block producer selections. The Telos team is docs and consists of individuals with strong backgrounds in blockchain tech and business development. Now on the investor side of things, you can actually purchase Telos coins and earn rewards. Telos can be acquired through many popular exchanges like KuCoin, Uniswap, PancakeSwap, or even through a simplex widget directly on the Telos website, which accepts fiat payments. There's also the option to go through one of their partners called ApeSwap. And these coins can then be used to earn rewards through staking and yield farming, and I'll talk about this more later on. Now it's important to note that Telos did not have an initial coin offering when their native Telos coin launched. And this means that Telos coins don't fall under the category of securities and cannot be placed under security regulations by the government. And this is an issue that several crypto tokens and coin providers have been facing recently. So what makes the Telos blockchain special? In terms of the network specs, the Telos chain can achieve a transaction processing speed or TPS of 10,000 per second with transaction block times of half a second. Gas fees average around one cent per transaction and the rate doesn't fluctuate with network volume. This makes gas costs both affordable and predictable. And these values actually place Telos above other well-known EVM blockchains, including Polkadot, Avalanche, and Polygon. Energy consumption is also on the low end with each transaction consuming on average 0.00001 kilowatt hours of energy. This adds up to a total average of 0.0004 terawatt hours of energy usage per year on the network. And as a comparison, Ethereum consumed on average between 50 to 70 terawatt hours of energy per year before the merge. After switching to proof of stake, the estimated consumption rate dropped to 0.01 terawatt hours per year, which is still around 25 times more than the Telos network. Telos can be thought of as a network with two ecosystems. There's the Telos native ecosystem and the Telos EVM ecosystem. The Telos native layer gives developers the space to build out their smart contracts using coding languages like C++ with plans to add more languages like Rust, Go, and TypeScript. 
The Telos EVM layer is designed to be a high performance tool for Ethereum based developers to build their smart contracts. Language support includes Solidity and Viper. And users are also able to bounce between the native and EVM layers to take advantage of tools and dApps on both sides of the network. Now, the Telos network also uses a consensus mechanism called Delegated Proof of Stake or DPoS. The way it works is that all Telos holders vote to select 21 block producers, which will get to participate in transaction validations and earn rewards. And while all of this is going on, block producers that didn't make the top 21 cut and fell within ranks 22 and 42 will be rotated into production every 12 hours to test its block signing capabilities. At the same time, missing blocks for two hours will cause block producers to be kicked out of the system for two days. The result is a system that auto-rotates block producers to ensure all participants are capable of producing blocks efficiently. This system requires that two out of three plus one validator to be in agreement to sign off blocks. So out of the 21 blocks produced, at least 15 of them need to be in agreement before a block is confirmed and placed on chain. Now let's talk about the newly announced Telos Fill campaign and how to use Telos coins to earn rewards. So Telos recently introduced their Telos Fuel campaign, which is an initiative to boost liquidity on the Telos blockchain over the next 14 months. And they're hoping to achieve this through a number of partnerships, native tech developments, and protocol integrations. They kicked off the campaign with a partnership with ApeSwap, a multi-chain DeFi tool hub, and automated market maker. Through ApeSwap, a number of Telos farming pools are actively running as seen here. Each pool offers its own APY, and these values will change over time, depending on token prices and LP volume. Users can also add liquidity on ApeSwap and receive something called a treasury bill for each of these pairs. And treasuries are basically NFTs that give users access to tokens at a discounted price. And after receiving the NFT, tokens are vested over a certain period of time and become claimable by the treasury bill holder. On the farming page, you'll notice something called STLOS, which stands for Stake Telos. This is basically a reward token that users can earn through the Telos Liquid Staking Protocol. So users can stake native Telos coins on the Telescan platform in exchange for STLOS and a 12% APY reward. And then from here, users can take their STLOS rewards and farm them on ApeSwap to generate additional TLOS rewards. The liquid pairing of TLOS and STLOS is meant to reduce the risk of impermanent loss. And this is because the rewards earned from one pool can potentially compensate for impermanent loss that may occur in the other pool. Now, in addition to their partnership with ApeSwap, the Telos team is in talks with other AMMs and lending protocols. The goal is to continue expanding the reach of the Telos network and its products, and we can expect to hear more about these efforts in the coming months. So, what are my opinions on the Telos blockchain? Well, the bear market has been unfriendly to many investors and even project teams. I can actually think of a huge list of projects that were hurt by the market conditions, and many ended up shutting down operations. But it's great to see that Telos is continuing to build and expand through this market, despite the price action and recent news of big crypto projects crashing. This is actually the time to stay strong and build, because when the bull market comes around, those that have used their time wisely will hit the ground running. And the Telos network also has some impressive stats, which makes it the fastest EVM blockchain among the big names already out there. For Ethereum-based developers, building on a network that offers the highest speeds and lowest costs is a no-brainer. But one thing to consider is how easy it would be for someone to transition over and start building their contracts on a new chain. Based on the project so far, there's already hundreds of projects that have integrated with the Telos network, including both the EVM layer and the Telos native layer. And I do think that Telos has the potential to expand even further and attract tons of new projects and become much bigger than it is right now. Of course, the crypto space is constantly shifting around, and while the Telos team continues to build, there are other project teams that are improving and coming up with new ways to improve the concept of Web3 and blockchain technology. So with that said, it will be interesting to see where Telos stands with their competitors and compared to other networks moving forward, especially when we enter the next bull market. And that's all, folks. If you want to stay on top of this project, definitely check out their project websites and socials, which I've linked in the description below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Here on Fire Hustle, I make a commitment to tell you everything you need to know about a project in the shortest amount of time possible. As always, if you have any projects that you want me to look into, let me know in the comments below. And remember, these are high risk projects and none of this is financial advice. I highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest in these projects. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.